Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. I haven't got a huge amount of different forestry options at the moment. There's the Ponzi Scorpion King, there's the Rotner, a few different ones with cranes and crushers and things like that, but they're all fairly sensible types of things. Like You've actually got to use cranes and that to be able to, to use these. Not really what I'm after. There is... I mean, we've got some really heavy-duty stuff here. And I was actually thinking, you know, if I was going to have one of these and we were going to do some wood chipping um, things, then I would get a front loader with a log grab and pick logs up like that to be able to do it. There is the Raptor right here. And if you look at the combinations, you, you have that one and you stick this one on the front of it. Gives us a, an extra option right there so that we can go and like plow stuff up. And that could be interesting. Let's go back. And this one here. So that, that would go on... I'm assuming it just goes on the front. But it seems like it would be going on the wrong way round. So I'm not quite sure how that would work. I don't know if that pulley works or not. Whether that is a proper fully operational thing. No idea, but this one looks really cool, and I'd like to give it a go. That's something that's going to go on to our to-do list, is is trying that one out. Um, the only thing we really want at the moment is something to... I mean, I guess we could go and buy this one anyway and just use it on a tractor for now, so that we've got a stump grinder. This one, forestry mulch can be room, uh, tree stumps and bushes... This one just grinds down the tree stump. So that's kind of, that is the one that I would want to use, I would guess. There's a couple of other different, well, there isn't a couple of others, it's just that one there. I'm wondering if any of these can actually cut down whole trees. So I'm going to have a look at this one here. There's, there's no others, although we are going to go for maximum working speed that we can get. There, 16k. I'm going to buy that one at 41,000. Okay. And this lorry right here. There's not a lot else I can do with that at the moment other than we will take it back home and then eventually we're going to want to get some um, more timber and bring it down this way towards our sawmill. The only thing that I do want to look at in here, we go into the map a second, because we, we're going to need to plan out this a little bit, I think. We've got land here, and we own all of that land, so we can start building our town fairly close by. The actual sawmill bit, though... I don't want to go back like that. Map overview. Right, the sawmill is there. If I switch to farmland, is it... Right, so it's tucked into that bit. But in order for us to be able to gain access to that, we're kind of running down here. That's right on the border where we're building. And that, yeah, I'm going to want to remove some of these trees. So we could buy that bit. There's 239,000. And then this here is where there's a bit of road, there's a bit of road, and there's a bit of road. And then we'd probably want that one, and that one, and that one as well. And no doubt we'd end up wanting that one. But it's it's these here, really. It's, it's this one and this one. So we're going to want to head down in this direction for building our town. Now, what I'm thinking is, rather than worrying about the road that exists through there, we build our own road. We come out this way, and we start heading down. We've already got a little bit of road that goes up to there. And we can start building our own road from there in a straight line down to the sawmill. Which is going to be a lot better. I think that's going to be a better way of doing it. And then we could also buy a second sawmill if we wanted to. So, that's going to be our goal. I think it's going to be one of our first goals is to buy up that extra bit of land so that we don't have to use this road, and then we don't need to worry about turning this into another road. And we can just kind of like focus on that other bit back up through the top. I think that's going to be a good way of doing this. Um, and we'll make sure that we've got a nice wide area cleared as well. Now I've been asked if this is going to be a play around series or if this is a bit more serious. It's kind of 
semi-serious. We will be playing around a bit. We'll, I'm not limiting myself to any particular mod. If I can find a mod that will allow me to look at a tree, click a button, and then turn that tree into logs on the ground, I am definitely, definitely going to use it. Because that way I don't have to be using that scorpion thing over... Well, not scorpion. Tree harvester. I don't have to be using the tree harvester. Because I don't want to spend my time using the tree harvester for very much. Like, it, does, it takes quite a while. It's good. It's useful. It's a fantastic tool. But honestly, I don't want to spend too long doing that. What I do want to do, though, is figure out the exact line that I want to take in order to be able to... So I want to go from there, and I want to head down this way. And we'll be buying up... Sort of our first bit of land that we want to buy, then, is going to be that one, which is 239,000, on top of the huge chunk that we already own. So that's going to be the next bits of land. We've already got pieces here. We've got stuff here that we can do stuff with. I could remove that tree over there. And then we've got an area here that we could go and plow up. And we could start growing some crops here. That, again, is going to cost money, though. We will need to get the necessary vehicles for doing all of that. I mean, what I can do is pretty much stick with what we've got already. Which is... I've got that silo there, and that one is a oops, wrong one. That is a silage silo. So we're we're turning that into silage already, and we've transformed some of that grass. We've got a bit more grass out on the hillside, and we can transform more of that into silage. So we can make a load of silage, and we can do that over there. All I need to do is get a plow, and I can plow a big section there if I go and remove one more tree, which I'll probably do. But I'm going to use this one here. I want to see if this will actually shred the tree and just get rid of it completely. If it will, I'll do that there. And I'll definitely, definitely, definitely... Oh, I know what I want with this. You know what we haven't got? We need a weight. Definitely need something heavy for this. Let's have a look. I mean, we, we've got a, a fairly heavy machine right here. So uh, we're looking at... Well, not the Fent one. I would guess maybe... Let's just go with the standard Agco, shall we? The Agco 2.3 ton weight. And I'll take New Holland because I've got New Holland tractor. Right, let's do that. There. The biggest weight. That That's going to work out quite nicely, I think. It's going to stop us from sinking down quite so far on the tail end there as well, which is a good thing. Let's bring you in there. There we go. That's better. Right, now we have a little bit more control over what we're doing. We're going to head out there. So if we can use this one to cut down trees, that's fantastic. Because it means that those types of trees right there, those deciduous ones, I can get rid of them instantly using this thing. And that's everything that I want. Turn on forestry mulch. Uh, it doesn't have allow create fields as an option. Just turn on... You would have if I actually selected it. It does sometimes change and give you new options. Right. That's... Joystick controls. Right. Joystick controls does open that. And it opens that bit as well. Uh, raising and lowering doesn't seem to... No, right, okay. So, raising and lowering, we don't have any option other than just a straight raise and lower, which means we probably can't do it to standing trees. But let's see. Okay. We can use this to shred a standing tree, but it won't do it quickly. I can do that, and it then turns it into the plowed ground. Um, doesn't seem to like that very much, though. Do that. Do that, and maybe it will... No, that's not going to lift us up. It's not going to do anything. So all this is doing is actually creating a new field. 
but it doesn't help me to get rid of that tree because at the moment I want to shred that tree. I want to get rid of it completely. So we'll try this from the other end and start shredding it from down here. And see if that's going to work. So it's 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 not one that will do an instant shred, which is actually what I would prefer. But it is getting rid of this. I don't know how fast it will do it. If I come up through there like that and just keep pushing. Alright, it's kind of like... Oh, I see. It's breaking it into bits. So I've got to go a little bit slow with it. Like that. It is working. It is eating the tree. But it's slow going. I need a mod that will allow me to do this completely. I mean, there is uh, obviously the chainsaw mod does allow us to do that. We've got the super strength. There's the, the, the chainsaw thing as well, which allows us to just get rid of trees completely. Um, I mean, that one there, I'm now getting a whole load of extra trees just turning up. If I do that... Right, see, it does kind of work. It's not foolproof. So yeah, this this gets rid of some bits, but it doesn't seem to get. It doesn't like the idea of getting rid of everything. Really slowly, I suppose. This takes a bit got a lot of tree left still to go now it's like leaving bigger bits out and it's getting more difficult because obviously the tree trunk is getting thicker um yeah it really, it really doesn't seem to like the idea of uh, shredding the entire tree does it like you'd think that it would be able to do this but it's not fond of this idea. Take a bit of time with it, and it does do the job. But I'm still... I've got bits left behind there. I don't want bits left behind. Okay, I'm going to just shut that one off a second. Let's have a look and see what we've done. So there's no other bits that are left on the ground. I've still got this piece of tree right here. It's 2.8 tons, 16 meters long. That's part of the mod there that's sort of just telling me what we've got. I've got the super strength, object too heavy. So if you double tap alt, super strength. Oh, wait. Press... The super strength. I thought that if you double tapped, it sort of stayed on permanent. Right, so I can drop that one down. I thought there was other options that I could, like, just delete stuff. I can throw it around without any trouble. Hmm. What else can I do with this? I want, to be able, I want to be able to get rid of this. I don't want it anymore. Uh, where's my chainsaw? I don't actually have a chainsaw at the moment. Let's go and buy a chainsaw and we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of doing a lot of puzzling my way through at the moment. I'm going to go for a Husqvarna this time. And bring that one up like that. All right. I don't know why it wasn't working properly the first time, but it is now. I'll go up through there and take all of the branches off. So now, what options have I got? If I point this activate hand tool... Right, what's that in the ground? I can... I can rotate there. 
That's my super strength. That won't let me do it until I go to here. Switch hand tool. I'm not getting an option. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, let, let, let me go and... Alright, I don't really know what's going on there. I thought that you could just uh, remove trees. Maybe you can remove trees and you can't do it from here. So I'm going to come up to this one. Now, I've got super strength. Can't go and pick that one up. Ah, right. That's got... See? That's in red right there. If I do that, what does that do? That deletes the tree completely. It also removes the stump. So that's how that one works. It just deletes the tree. It didn't give me any money, though. I didn't get any cash for it. And you can also do this to get rid of a stump, I believe. This also works. I'll bring that one on over there. It goes red like that, and I can remove the stump there. So I can quickly and easily remove trees. If I want to have the trees available for doing stuff with, I've got to do it differently. Now, that's actually a really quick and easy way of removing the trees. I uh, do have that one over there that I want to use. I'm thinking that we'll go through this area here with something and... I wonder if I should leave that tree on the corner. I was just thinking about deleting that tree there. Um, so I kind of like to turn this area into a small field so that we've got more area for growing grass. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't really like these deciduous trees here. Although, it's too late now. Uh, we'll keep some of the deciduous trees around purely because they make the place look nice. And also, you get the added advantage of being able to see the seasons changing as you sort of progressing through time and so on so we'll leave the rest of the trees around here my only issue is this log right here so i'm gonna cut this one in half that's gonna cut in half there uh it's about in half right, why aren't you cutting Huh. Right, I don't know why it's not cutting. That log is a bit weird with the, the, the bit in the middle. Why aren't you cutting? Activate hand tool. Right. I'm not really sure why the chainsaw bit is not currently working on there that's some other little bug that has just turned up delightfully so but we won't worry about it so that log can just go in there and we will deal with this later and also this log can go in here as well and we will deal with this one later as well right so i got two logs in there i'm now going to go and get this one and we're going to just chop out a few more stumps I'm not going to use this to create the field across the whole area here. I'm going to get a cultivator because I've got the allow create fields mod active with the cultivator. So we will use that one to do the allowing of um, creating fields. What I am going to do is I'm going to put that bit down because it leaves it as a plowed surface. I actually quite like that. Right, in order to be able to make this... If See, I said I'm going to do it like this, but if it's too difficult, if it causes me... Oh, it's because it's off to the side. I need to have it centered. Got to have it centered for it to work. If it ends up causing me any problems, I'm just going to use the chainsaw thing, because that was quick, easy, and painless, and I liked it. And you can see right here, we've got all of the... Um the leaves the textures that are left behind and this is quite concerning to start with when you go and look at the map and it's like oh this this is really not going to be good i don't want my houses that i'm going to be building sort of stuck with stuff like that it's going to be absolutely awful i really don't want that but it turns out that actually yeah it's nothing that i need to worry about um i don't need to uh, i don't need to concern myself with it in the slightest so we've got 
coming down there and let's just get rid of the last bit so it is digging up some stones there we'll do some stone removal Although I'll probably end up just turning the stones off to be honest eventually maybe not immediately but I'll probably eventually turn them off alright there we go I've got everything through on there so this mulcher does actually cut down the tree it getting it to mulch the tree though that is a little bit more of a challenge and so I'm not entirely sure that we will do that very much Let's bring that one back up there and then we can turn that one off so yeah I don't think that we'll do that very much but um, I'm, I need to sort of figure out some other ways of getting trees down what I would really, really like, and I know I've said this already several times, but I'm going to say it again. What I would really, really love to have for this series is a mod that I can point at a tree and it cuts the tree into logs like the tree harvester would leave them. If we could do that, that would make our lives so much better. It really would. I'm just going to skip to this one a second, and I'm going to bring you... Actually, I'm not going to bring you down anywhere. I'm just going to reverse you up out of the way. We'll be using you again, I suspect. Bring you back up here like this. I'm going to stop you there. And... Actually, because we also want to be able to build our houses don't we so i mean we could start doing some of that up on this side so if i go over here i'm gonna worry about that bit there and kind of don't want the town starting too close to that bit so i kind of want to put it up over here so let's go and have a look in our farmland i do own this up this side as well it's where do I build my first houses? Like, there is a bit of a slot that I could go in there if I was to get rid of those two trees there. But I kind of want to keep some of the deciduous trees around the immediate area down the bottom. Just because I think they look quite good. So I think what I will do... Is I'm going to cut a space in here. How much... Actually, we need to see. I can't remember how much the... Um the houses are that we want to get and oh jj has actually given me um some th there's some more of these available that gets me seven thousand six hundred a month this one's 60 grand it's five thousand probably go with that one actually it's, those get prohibitively expensive up that way 13 grand a month coming back on that one all right so i got two of them here uh 60 grand each and they bring back uh, 5,600 a month so I'll probably start with getting one of these I can fit this in without having to cut down any trees at all I'm gonna cut down the tree here in front of me so we'll take that one out like that and I don't think I need to take out anymore I will I'll take that one out up there I love this. You got a really long reach on it as well. This is fantastic. We'll leave that one in behind over there. I'll leave that one. I'll leave that one where he is. And then I'll reverse back up here. So we've got that track. That's where our track is going to come up. So we're going to do a little bit of landscaping now. Um, for those of you who don't like landscaping, um, really sorry, but yeah, it needs to be done. So we're doing landscaping now. And I'm going to start off by doing some painting. We, we've got. A few options. I've got gravel that can go up through there if I want. I've got concrete and I've got tarmac, asphalt, depending on where you are in the world, what you want to call it. So I'm going to go there and tarmac doesn't really look like tarmac, to be honest. Like tarmac in the UK is a lot darker colour than that. It's a much darker colour than that. I don't really want tarmac. Concrete is whiter. Uh, I'm not sure if this is really what we want. I guess to start with, gravel is actually going to be the most suitable option. 
So we'll bring that out this way. Plants. Uh, we'll go over and we'll do any bits that are still sticking into the gravel. We can do that afterwards. And then we haven't got to keep switching backwards and forwards. So we'll bring that one out like that. And a nice big sort of track bit that is being built like this. There, just between those signs, let's take it out to that side of the sign as well. That's going to come down there like that. Right. And now I can kind of just run up the hill. I'm not going to get this exact, am I? Actually, I suppose I could get it almost exact. If I go one step bigger, how big is that? I'll be fine. We'll just do it on that size, and then I don't need to worry. It's going to give me the same width all the way up through. So I'll go like that. Uh, I definitely want to smooth off that dump ground there. So I'll come back and do that in a bit. And I'm keeping it mostly out onto the side over this way. Because there's trees close to the road. Uh, how far up do we go? Yeah, we'll take it all the way up to there. Because why not? So, we'll go up this way. I know it's not perfect. But I don't think this is too bad. Yeah. That'll do. We'll go up to there. We won't go any further than that. And I've got... Right, there's a little bush there. So if I go now into this one and we shrink that down a bit. I just want to get rid of that bush. That one there that's hanging over the side. And also it'll be that one. And... Yeah, I'll get rid of that one. So it's in here that I'm going to build something in order to put that house down. Just want to get rid of these shrubs that are overhanging the side of our brand new road here. I'll put some different plants there in a minute. Because they, they kind of look a little bit out of place now. We've we got a bigger road. So they, they do look somewhat out of place going up through there. So then we go into plants. And now we just put some grass in. And I'll do it right there. And I don't think there's anywhere else that we want to do that. I've got a little bit of a strip down through here. So I guess I could just put a couple of uh, little splotches of grass in there. I don't think there's anything else up through here. Where I've got the wrong types of plants overhanging the track. Except for maybe here. So just there. So then if I go back to the painting and I go to the gravel, that painting is now, that's been removed. So then I can go and just gravel that over like that. There we go. That'll be fine. Don't need to get carried away with any of it. And I can come back down here and gravel that. There we go. Next, I want to go sculpting, and I want to go here, and I want to make that quite big like that, and then... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.